My name is Rob Duffy. I'm Head of Solution Development at CloudReach, and um, we are an Azure um, expert MSP. We do a lot of other, we have many Azure uh, competencies. We have hundreds of Azure certifications, uh, certified engineers on staff. In 2020, we won the uh, Partner of the Year in the UK, where our, our business is headquartered, um, but we have offices all over the world, um, all throughout Europe, as well as the United States, and we deliver a multitude of solutions on Azure for our customers. And you can see some of the customers down here, some of them are very large, like BP and Ikea and Unilever, but we also work with uh, more mid-sized customers as well. Uh, Stearns is a, is a customer that I'm gonna talk about in a little more detail. Um, in further on in the presentation. And so, uh, you know, the way in which we deliver services to our customers is, is really um, through our services framework, where we're able to provide a multitude of services like advisory services, helping customers understand how they can generate value out of the cloud. Our platform services is really about how do they utilize the cloud and all the services and build out the infrastructure um, so that they can utilize all those great services in the cloud, but do so securely. Um, getting to the cloud through our migration, managing those cloud services once they get there, right? We also have our own software platform called Cloudomize that does analytics on customers' environments and makes recommendations for cloud services. Um, Next-gen security services is, is how, do we, how do we secure those those cloud native environments, right? And those are handled very differently than you do, uh, you know, more traditional um, cloud stacks. So, you know, we're able to provide security around both of those. Uh, data and analytics, how do you leverage all that data that you're generating and storing in the cloud and, and make business insights into it? And then finally, in our application development space, you know, we're helping customers build out, um, you know, cloud native pipelines and helping them App, uh, create new cloud native applications. And, and really all of these things come together in a, in a way that creates a lot of value for our customers. We create insights for our customers through our advisory services. We have many um, ex-CTOs um, within our organization that come from a lot of different verticals and can offer customers insights into you know, how they've accomplish some of the same challenges um, that our customers are facing in in other parts of in other parts of the market and so we are able to provide those insights about how you use the cloud to generate business value and those insights are executed with our offerings in around migration services modernization services or management services uh, and so we're able to deliver those insights through those offerings and that is accelerated with our software that I mentioned, Cloudomize, which helps us understand what are the right application, uh, the right infrastructure um, for a customer to build in the cloud. So how do you translate an on-prem um, infrastructure to a cloud infrastructure? And it's not always a one-to-one -one match, right? You may want to you know, look at, Cloudomize helps you understand you know, what the right instances you should be running in the cloud based on how your workloads are running on prep. Sunstone is a is this analytic software that looks at um, existing infrastructures and makes modernization recommendations. So, you know, can you move a particular database application to a uh, cloud native application with containers and using uh, database services of the cloud? Right? So those are the kind of recommendations that Sunstone are making. Conductor helps us manage and orchestrate all the management tasks that need to happen when you're, when you're managing um, these cloud infrastructures for customers. And then finally, Transition Manager is a piece of software that we use to really create a data plane that helps us um, make decisions and automate the tasks that are required for all these types of activities like migrations or modernizations or management. And this is the value that we call our smart, um, our, our smart methodology, right? It's software driven and it's built on a decade of experience that Cloud, CloudReach has in delivering services in the cloud across all, all three of the, the major uh, cloud service providers. 
And so just to give you a little bit more background on what Cloudmize is and Transition Manager is, those are the two key tools that we use in a, in a migration. And really, I like to say with migrations, the it's not necessarily a technical problem anymore. We understand how to migrate workloads from on-prem into the cloud. We understand the process that you need to go through. We understand you know, how to do that in the best, um, uh, the best infrastructures to build in the cloud to, to migrate these applications. Really the challenge is, is orchestrating all the tasks that need to happen and doing so very efficiently so that you can get to the cloud quickly and with the least amount of risk as possible. Uh, and so this is where we use Cloudomize to analyze the customer's environment and make intelligent recommendations for that cloud transformation. And then we use Transition Manager to take all that information and help us orchestrate all the different tasks that need to happen uh, so that we can accelerate the outcome, lower the risk for our customers, as well as decrease the amount of time the customer has to spend with us to um, to, to complete the migration tasks. And so essentially what we end up with is what we call our smart migration, right? And it really drastically reduces the cost um, and effort involved with the migration, um, both for us as the service integrator, but also for our customers. Um, and it increases that kind of time to value for the cloud migration, it gets you it quickly, um, so that you can start actually generating value from the cloud faster. Um, it, you know, we, we eliminate a lot of the assessments that are required and other um, service providers will require you to go through in order to generate a migration plan, right? We reduce that and, and that, you know, can take months off uh, an actual migration program. Um, it, we also generate a, a cloud foundation that's unique um, to your business, but is built on a decade's worth of cloud development. And we, you know, through Sunstone can accelerate that modernization journey for customers. And, you know, all the while we, we, we bridge all the cloud funding um, that's possible for this type of migration so that you're able to get to the cloud as quickly as possible at the lowest cost of possible cost for your customer. And then this is what it looks like in more of a architecture format, but you can see generally we start out with this assessment phase um, and we try and get that done very quickly. So in just a few weeks, we're able to really generate the case for change through Cloudomize, where we generate a, a um, total cost of ownership of migrating to the cloud and what what is your anticipated cloud spend going to be? And we can we can measure that pretty accurately, and we can use different um, different variables to model it out in different ways, so that it's very unique to your business and how you want to um, deploy your cloud infrastructure. We can then take that information and build out really a detailed board level business case for you, so that you can you can internally um, advocate for this type of change within your business. And often, you know, that's a, a big blocker is really trying to get people to understand, you know, what the value of the cloud is and not only what you're going to spend, but what your business can, how your business, business can benefit from a cloud migration. Uh, and so we look at all those, um, the, the business value that could be generated from the cloud. So once that, that case for change is made and we're able to um, you know, start the migration process, really that's where we start to utilize this tool, Transition Manager. What Transition Manager does is it takes all the data from Cloudomize about the infrastructure. Um, it can also synchronize that data with other data sources like uh, RV Tools, ServiceNow, if you have a, an Excel spreadsheet sitting on your desktop. Um, of, you know, that you use to um, keep track of all your, your infrastructure and your applications. It integrates all that together and creates one single source of truth about the entire um, environment, infrastructure and application environment. And with that information, once we have all that collected, we can very quickly begin to set up the migration strategy and migration plan. And we can do so in an automated way. 
So with all that data that's incorporated into that purpose-built database, we can create a migration plan and all the steps that are required for a migration. And we can execute those um, in an automated format with integrations into the transport tools like Azure Migrate um, so that we can accomplish this very quickly and with the least amount of friction uh, for our customers. And all the while, while we're, 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 we're working on that migration factory and making sure that we have a, a smooth pipeline of um, a, a process to get you know, from the data collection stage all the way through to the, the migration execution. There are other elements of migration that really need to be, are just as important, if not more important to the success of a migration. One is around people planning, right? What are, is your organization ready to migrate to the cloud? Will, do you have the right skills in-house or do you need to upskill your, your, your staff in order to be able to migrate and, and operate in the cloud? What's the, um, the landing zone look like? What, what level of security and governance do you need built into that landing zone? All these decisions need to be made and then the, they need to be executed throughout this migration program at the right time. Same for the modernization. Do you want to modernize your applications as you're moving them? or after you get to the cloud. And there's, there's benefits and, and trade-offs that you make uh, for each of those decisions and understanding what those are and then building that into your migration program. You know, so all this comes together to create a thorough migration program that really allows us to accelerate the process and deliver exceptional, you know, deliver that cloud value to customers as quickly as possible. Um, and we've seen, you know, here's a, a couple of case studies where this is how we've done this before. So one is with Stearns Lending. I mentioned them earlier, where we, um, Stearns Lending is a, an American uh, financial institution that needed to get to the cloud, and they wanted to do so as quickly as possible. They had some tight deadlines to get out of their data center. And so we incorporated our smart migration process in order to, to get them moving very quickly and execute their migration um, um, in as little as time as possible. And all the while, we had to do that while the the entire team was was still going about their um, their their daily business and, and maintaining the business. And so we were able to, you know, do all this migration work, but do it in a way that didn't interfere with their um, their current business and the exceptional growth um, that they had. And we were able to do it get them out of the data center, meet their timelines, and really they're, they were able to decrease their uh, yearly data center cost by about 36%. And they were able to realize that savings faster because we were able to execute on this migration um, in a, an accelerated way. Another um, larger um, customer that we had where we migrated them to the Azure cloud is, is Dentsu. Dentsu is a global media company. They actually are the ones who work with Microsoft to do all their media buys. So they help them um, buy magazine advertisements, TV time, that kind of thing. And they do this for lots of Fortune you know, 500 companies. And you know, one of the challenges that they had is, is they um, we're experiencing a lot of growth through acquisitions, and it was taking a lot of time to incorporate those acquisitions into their organization. And so we worked with them um, to create a cloud landing zone blueprint template that they could, every time they acquired somebody, they could deploy this blueprint and then start migrating that acquisitions assets into that new, um, that new template. And this allowed them to onboard new acquisitions in weeks versus months, and which was what their challenge was before. Um, and this has led to considerable savings, one, because they got to close down some of their data centers, um, and because it had saved another time in, in their overall effort of onboarding these new, um, new acquisitions. And so it was you know, thought to be, you know, four to five million dollars in the um, data center savings and then two million dollars um, just on their the ability to optimize their cloud spend. Uh, and so these are, again, examples of customers who, who have gone through this process and realize real savings 
Um, and that savings occurred faster um, because of our, our process. And it's not, these are not unique case studies that we've had. Really, we've, we've over time, have been able to look at, you know, what our process is compared to our competitors. And really, we see that our process, you know, we use a, um, we call it automation arbitrage versus a labor arbitrage, right? Where larger GSIs, they just throw more, more people at the problem. And so they, you know, will add more people to the project, which increases overhead and complexity of the project and risk um, in order to get it done. And we've gone the other way where we've looked at the entire process and because of the experience, um, experiences that we've had, we've been able to find ways to, to automate and optimize the entire process so that we can get it done faster and with fewer resources, allowing us to do um, these migrations in less time with less overall effort and less effort on our customers, right? So instead of our customers having to be um, attend lots of um, application owner interviews and filling out application surveys and answering a lot of questions about what the environment is, we're able to collect that information in an automated way. Um, and that way they don't have to spend that time with us and, and you know, talking to us about their uh, environment. We can collect that information. We then um, confirm that it's correct. And then we can go off and start making the migration plans. And we're able to you know, also our platform allows for real-time reporting on the status. So that again, eliminates time in which our customers have to spend with us where they can see in a, a real-time dashboard what the status of their migration is. So all the, this entire approach is, is really to benefit our customers in the amount of time and effort um, they need to spend on this migration process. And so, you know, here are uh, other examples of customers where we've had uh, success in migrations. Uh, these are global customers of ours um, where we've, we've gone through this process and accelerated this migration process for them. And I would, um, and finally, in closing, like this, you know, if, you have a migration process project coming up where you feel like you would need you need some help in understanding what the overall effort is and how how you can get to the cloud maybe faster utilizing automated tools um, we can help you do that we'd love to schedule a cloudized uh, cloud assessment demo where we can show you the capabilities of cloudize and the information that it can provide you um, in a very short period of time to help you get your migration going quickly and provide a, an app-centric optimization of, of what your cloud environment may look like. Generally, these assessments are funded um, by Azure, and so there's very little um, cost to you as the end customer um, to, to go through one of these demos with us on CloudWise. Um, you can use the, the QR code here if you, if you can capture it, or uh, we'll include the, um, maybe the link in the, um, in the information that we send out after the, after the, uh, the webinar here today. Um, so with that, I just want to say thank you very much for your time today. I hope uh, the information was helpful. And if there's any questions, um, happy to answer any questions. Or uh, if not, I'll, I'll turn it back over to Ron.